what is going on guys it is a fine fine super fine day here in southwest pa and in today's episode uh we are going to be talking about the ninja 650 and how it performs in the rain and i'm going to give a little bit of tips about uh riding in the rain i have another video specifically for that i will link that in the description and here's the thumbnail here for it um quick disclaimer this is not live this is uh, a voiceover because i cannot do uh audio in the rain it will mess up the uh thing and don't worry about uh the uh the, the kind of camera it looks a little funky right now but once we get going it clears up but i do want to talk about the ninja 650 and how it performs in the rain and the very first thing i want to talk about is this is with good motorcycle tires uh because performance with other tires is going to be probably a different experience as you can see it is quite wet out here um it's it's raining quite heavy so you really got to make sure that you have good motorcycle tires and that's where i based my experience with the 650 the stock tires that came with the bike the dunlops um i didn't really ride in the rain too much i was kind of like my first season so i was like not really riding in the rain but after i got my um battle axe t32s and these ones that I'm running right now are Michelin Road 5s. They make a world of difference. So just a quick disclaimer, I am running good motorcycle rain tires specifically for that because I ride on all conditions all year round. So, uh, But as far as the Ninja 650 in very wet conditions, you guys already know I'm going to be biased. I'm going to say it's the best motorcycle ever. Uh, it just performs very, very well the the bike is light it light at like 425 pounds so it's it's not a lot of bike to uh move around and it's not a light bike to where you would feel like you wouldn't have anchorage if that makes any sense so with the weight being kind of how it is it, it really does make an overall good riding experience again it, it's not so light where it feels like the bike is going to be like hydroplaning all the time and it's not real heavy where if you're in a lean it feels like the bike is going to kind of skid out from underneath of you and that kind of brings me to the second point of why the 650 or yeah why the 650 is a good bike in the rain um and that is because of the power band the bike is not a super super powerful bike you know you guys know the stats of it the horsepower and the torque it's it, it's a, a a medium to low rev range or um excuse me like a medium to uh higher rev range bike meaning the power band is kind of in that medium range and the the lower and not really the high end i mean it's it's feeling the best at 8000 rpms but what i'm getting at is in these lower rpms where you're going to be really riding this bike um the the bike isn't going to feel like it's going to spin out on you whenever you're going into a turn and you're accelerating through a turn because you have to remember that whenever you're riding in the rain you you do kind of change your riding style um and i'm going to contradict myself here in like three seconds because i'm going to say like you really don't but you, you do get to kind of change a little bit of things and one of the reasons why i really like riding in the rain and i talked about this before is because it makes you a smoother rider to where you have to be smoother with your inputs on the motorcycle you can't be jerky you can't drop the clutch you can't slam on the brakes you can't do anything abrupt and riding in the rain will transfer into riding in clean dry conditions so it kind of evens it out so that's why i was saying i was going to contradict myself because i really do kind of ride how i ride in the rain in dry conditions because you can push the bike in the rain if you have good motorcycle type i mean watch moto gp you can push these motorcycles 
in the rain you just have to have the right equipment not necessarily gear well gear yes but you have to have the good uh tires and you have to have the skill and the uh fluidity with your controllers you can't be jerky you just have to be nice and smooth like like right here you know we're coming at this turn at like 30 something mile an hour it's a pretty sharp turn you know we did it at 30 that's not super fast we're not flying anywhere but you don't have to creep because the tires are going to be really good tires the ninja 650 also has great traction control ktrc kawasaki traction control yeah something like that uh, they have a level one and a two and I always keep mine on level two which is the most traction control that really controls that rear wheel so whenever you're coming out on this turn and say we're we're making this turn or whatever and you know let's say I downshift too early or whatever that slipper clutch alongside with the traction control is going to prohibit that tire from free spinning or going into some kind of spin and then if that happens on wet conditions you can slide out very easy if it happens on a dry condition you have an opportunity or at least a chance to get back on to get back on traction but it's it, it's a lot harder to do once you lose that coefficient of uh, kinetic friction on a motorcycle so that uh, the traction control on this bike with the power band being how it is and also the weight of this motorcycle make it for a very very nice smooth running machine that you really honestly can ride in very wet conditions obviously this is what we're doing right now this video is not me showing off or anything like that it just so happened to be pouring i'm like you know what i got my uh waterproof gopro thing i'm going to record it and um hopefully it turns out nice for you guys because it, it, it is one of those things especially if you live in somewhere like florida where like it can be doing this and then five seconds later it's going to be bright and sunny you might want to know hey can this 650 uh perform well in the rain and the the very short answer is yes if you have good motorcycle tires that's a very key point you're probably not going to be able to really run this same play if you're running on diablos or something super super sporty uh if you get a, a very good wet rain tire and a touring tire you're going to be great if you really know how to work your controls be very smooth with the, with the controls it's going to make it even better and then you can carry that smoothness onto dry roads and you will just get better and better and better the weight of course is fantastic on this motorcycle not too heavy not too light you got the traction control that's going to save you it 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 is a very good bike um now i'm actually going to be running out of uh video here so this is going to be a super short video this is not going to be a long video for you guys so i do apologize for that but i just wanted to get this video out there as far as tips for riding in the rain i really do just recommend checking out my other video i'll link it in the description um it's uh I, it, it gives out you know very uh common sense uh, ideas to to pick up and I probably say some of the same thing so I'm gonna go ahead and get off here if you guys did enjoy the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe it really helps me and I really appreciate it so don't forget once again like share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one